Hello everyone, today is uh, June 5th, 2023. Let's start off by looking at Friday. If you look at Friday, this is Friday here. It is like a P-shaped formation, right? P-shaped formation usually signifies, uh, this is the stem, so to speak, and this is like the P. It signifies weak co uh, short covering, excuse me, short covering. Now, short covering can weaken the market, right? We also have that DE low is still poor. We had that in mind. G low was poor. And this was the afternoon pullback low, which was at this level here. I did not mark it, though. But that's something to remember. Now, let's look at the overnight session. This is right here, the overnight session. This is the last and settle over here. And pretty much balance in the overnight. I did not see it as long or short. I looked at it as balance. You also need to notice the it was pretty much trading. The half pack of the overnight was at the M period low. And that also, you know, you can maybe call this as a prominent point of control. I did not see it as a prominent point of control. Because if you notice, there are a lot of levels here, here, which is so close just because this is at the half pack that becomes prominent POC. However, that being said, it did get taken out. I'm just being honest to you what I saw it as POC or not before it happened, right? So I did not see it as prominent POC. Um, so it's, again, it's not 100%, right? So when the market opens here, and overnight inventory for me is balanced. But this is the trade I took. I'll tell you what happened. So in the A period, it goes lower. I don't remember. I think it bounced off the settle. And then it goes higher. And it breaches the previous week's high, which is Friday's high, at this 42.98 level. However, it also takes out the 4300 level. But what happens? There is no continuation higher there is like the tempo slows down you know it's sort of the interest of the buyers in the market just tapers off um, it was a bit difficult i did not i could not take this trade now starting in b period same thing happens but what do we have we have a a period week low i think at the time uh, the B bounced off from the settler last. I don't quite remember, but there was a B period week low. And then again, this market tries to push higher. Now, same story, like in A period high. The market tempo slowed down. The momentum slowed down. And there was so weak volume in A period. If you look at the A period volume, it was really weak. So this is when I decide, hey, you know what? It looks like a time to go short because you had weak references at the bottom. No interest over 4,300. If the market was strong, it would keep going higher. It could, would not breach the 4,300 level and come back down. But it kept doing that. Also, another thing I noticed, you know, in the B period, I think even in the A period, that's what happened. It kept bouncing off this level. Now, what is this level? It kept, you know, bias kept stepping in. It is the overnight high. So bias kept stepping in. It bounced off here. It bounced off here. Same thing with this last week's high or the Friday's high. It kept bouncing off here. I noticed that. And I noticed the taper and the tempo slow down. I said, that's it. I think it's a good time to go short. And I did take shots. My stops were around 43.07, 43.08, somewhere here. And once it, I, you know, I take some profits along the way. So just before the open, I took one off. Uh, the last and settle, I took another off. And that's about it. I was done. I was done. And I was done for the day. But this is how I looked at the market today because of weak references and the way it was bouncing off from very visual levels like the overnight high, the previous uh, Friday high and all stuff like that. So, you know, very short term buyers in the market. These were all laggard buyers, as they call it. They were buying last minute thinking, oh, my God, it's going it's bro it's breached the 4300. It's going to go higher. And as you can tell, for the rest of the day, even in the C period, it bounced off from the, you know, you can call this the overnight POC also, which was the uh, prominent point of control from the overnight. It bounced off that level and D period low was weak since it's at the mid of the C period. The E period low is poor because, again, I mean, sorry, it's weak because it's the, from the mid of the D period, right? And so no volume, no volume going higher. And again, 
you know, bias took it over 4300 once. Same thing here. When I saw this poor high made, which H period opened up, and this poor high was made, instantly I, I was, fortunately I was on my PC at that time. I usually, when I'm done for the day, I hit my target, I walk away. But I was here at say, this was one o'clock, right? And I noticed this poor high, again, a volume taper, and I'm like, no bias. There is no tempo, it's slowing down. And I took a short again. Now, obviously, once I hit my targets, I only trade the micros, but I had some great, my, I mean, good number of micros, I would say around four, you can call that, you know, I was okay with that. And, uh, and I just rode these this way down. It was a great trade. I just had a trailing stop, and I think it was in the K period or something that it got hit. And I was, you know, I was happy with the day, but this was the second trade that came to me because of these weak references, slowing tempo, volume taper, and no interest over the 4300 level, right? Okay, yeah, these were the two trades and that's how my, it fits my trading style. Again, I do these recordings for my own purposes, for my, you know, for me to go back and look into. And also for some of you who want to learn mar market profile and how to take trades at times. All right, that's all, thank you.